Hey Scorpio, welcome back in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. And this is going to be your reading from now to October end. Let's see what's happening with you. Current energies. Your feelings, their feelings, where the connection is heading, next move, and everything we're going to explore in this reading. Always remember, reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. This may not be a reading entirely, right? What else? Scorpio all placements. Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. You can watch it for any placement. What's happening with Scorpio? Traveling past lives. What else? All right, patience. Some kind of karma you're carrying here. Some kind of burden, right? I do feel things are changing a bit, but uh, a lot of patience will be required in this situation. Some kind of lessons, some kind of... Uh, I do feel some kind of news might be sh simply coming in. All right, let's see what else. We have the Fool card here. What about the people surrounding Scorpio or any specific person, love interest? Scorpio is thinking about. Give me a second. We have the existence card. Magician energy number one. I feel this person is going through some kind of solitude. Epiphany. Some kind of energy where they're alone, thinking too much, sitting under the stars, staring at the stars. And getting some enlightenment about life. Broader questions of life, right? What else? Letting go, definitely. Very singular energy. Maybe this person is simply coming out of a relationship. What else? We have laziness here as well. Okay. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. Letting go of something. The rebel. And fighting about something here. Very singular kind of energy for this person. Need some alone time, not really willing to talk to much people around them. Spending time alone. Alright, let's see what is happening for you. I do feel some kind of communication is happening around a situation which was getting delayed since so long. Current energies for Scorpio, please. We have the King of Cups, here you are, Chariot and the Page of Swords. Alright, you're ready to run away from something very nicely. You're ready. You're on your Chariot, you're on your vehicle and you're just ready to run. You're just ready to get launched, right? But, again, something is happening which is forcing you to look back sometimes. Maybe this karma that we were talking about, Right? You've been through some emotional moments re recently. This simply can be your energy where you were just done with emotions, trying to balance yourself, picking yourself back again, and ready for some forward movement in your life. But some kind of information here, Page of Swords energy. Let me first clarify this person's energy. What are they doing? We have the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Strength. Alright, they're letting go. Again, that same energy of letting go, the strength, resisting, three of wands, turning it back, two of pentacles reverse, not really juggling anymore. Temperance, healing. All the cards show me that this person is releasing something. They're going through a big phase of release. It's like letting go. Can be Leo. Very strong energy of just turning it back towards everything, the world, literally. And uh, sitting at a place where they're just alone. And they don't want anybody around them right now, I feel. They're just enjoying their singular moments. Solitude. Right? What are you feeling for this person right now? I don't really pick up any kind of conversation going on. I do feel that until some... For some time in past, you were waiting for this person. Maybe some communication, some information. 
you were getting something about this person, right? But now you're coming to a point where I'm just ready and I'm just ready to move on. I don't really pick up any sort of communication going on right now. I see this person turning really inwards, not opening up to anything. What are you feeling for them? We have the Hierophant and Ace of Cups. Oh my God. Is this a new person who just recently entered your life, Scorpio? And you are developing some kind of emotions for them. King of Cups, Ace of Cups. And I think this is not moving on from them. It's like moving on from your past situation and getting ready to be with this person. Can be a Taurus individual, but you are very practical, very grounded. And what you're looking for, a very traditional kind of bond here. Wow, King of Pentacles energy can be an earth sign you're dealing with. What are they feeling for Scorpio? What is this person feeling for Scorpio? Two of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Oh my God, Scorpio, you're giving me goosebumps. You both have love. This is fresh, right? This is fresh. And this person is in some kind of... Uh, how should I say that? They're not showing you. I'll definitely clarify the strength card. What is forcing them to hold back? But they have love. They definitely have emotions for you. And they're feeling left out and cold because of something. This can be coming from a controlling figure in your environment. Maybe you have the page of swords. I definitely feel we need to clarify some cards here. Alright. Where is the situation heading for you? Your future moves. We have the Magician, oh my god, the Four of Wands, and what else? Two of Swords in Reverse. You are ready to make the decision now. You're clear in your mind. My god, this is a very, very strong willpower that I pick up in your energies that I'm going to do it, no matter what. I'm manifesting this in my life. Scorpio, I see strong law of attraction here. And not just law of attraction, you're just not sitting and manifesting, thinking something. No, you're actually doing something with your hands, with your mind. And you're planning something here. You have made the decision. You're no more confused. You're done waiting. You're done thinking about the past. You're done looking behind, uh, you know, what happened in past. You're done. And you're just ready to manifest something beautiful in your life. I wouldn't be shocked if you guys are really on the verge of getting into a new relationship in your life if you are not committed. And if you're committed, then I think you want to bring back the stability in your connection. This is so amazing. This is such a good reading after so long. So what is this person about to do then? Five of Swords. All right. The lovers and the hanged man. They have some things to figure out before they can actually come up to you. They're stuck into something. I really think we need to clarify some things in this reading because they're coming out very strongly. But at the same time, I feel this person, before they can come up to you, they need to figure out some things. That Their surroundings are not all right. So where is this connection heading to? Where is this connection heading to? The justice, all right, my way or highway, bringing back the balance the way I need. You're the emperor, emperor, they are the page of pentacles, can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the sun. Oh my God, the fool energy is here, Scorpio. Can you see this? Can you see this? I can't believe my eyes. You know, it's not just about getting into a relationship or a commitment. It's about, I want to do it my way. Let me do it my way. That energy. And you're going to do it, I'm telling you. I strongly pick up that you're going to do it. My God. Energies for Scorpio, please. Scorpio or placements. I need to clarify some cards. I'm getting a strong, strong urge of clarifying, first of all, the, the page of swords. What are you looking towards? What is this information? This can be spying. This can be looking at somebody's uh, social media, Facebook. I don't know. What is this page of swords? You change something out here. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Oh my God. Scorpio is in love once again. Now, I don't know whether this is a new person or new love with no person, but Scorpio, this is serious. 
and this is actually turning very serious. You're turning emperor, magician, harrowfant, chariot. I am just mesmerized by the willpower you have in this connection, you know. It's like I'm ready to take all the charge. I'm ready to take all the... I shouldn't be saying burden, but yes, it's like you're ready to take everything on your shoulders. My God, why are they resisting then? Three of Wands strength. What's wrong with them? They definitely have a choice to make. Did you figure out what choices they have to make here? Page of Pentacles. I think this person needs to convince somebody in their surroundings. They have some kind of messy surroundings here. What is this? The Sun, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. All right. Can be that they are still not completely out of their past relationship. If they were dating a Queen of Swords, air, air, air sign, I'm sorry, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I think this person is still not completely out of it, right? Can be kids involved. I see son, baby, son twice. Can be kids involved in the situation, right? But one thing I'm sure of is that this person is in love with you for sure. They do have to make a choice. Can be somebody, you're dating somebody who's already committed or they're on the verge of a breakup, some kind of divorce, separation, a loveless situation. My God. Okay, then what is this five of pentacles? Why are they left out? Why are they feeling left out by you? Seven of swords, ten of swords, eight of pentacles. All right. Hmm. Things are messy here, Scorpio, because they have something to clear, right? Now, what I picked up in the beginning with the past life thing, I feel some kind of karma needs to be cleared because this person is manifesting some kind of karma. There's no doubt a lot of love, but uh, when love is associated with something karmic, when love is associated with something uh, which is sneaky, or some facts are hidden from your partner or, or something like that. I pick up that some kind of karma is getting created here. They have something already. For some of you, this simply can be that you're finding new love and walking out of the situation with this person. And this is the person you're leaving behind because I see a lot of karma here. Karmic connection, karmic bond. Hmm. What is this love is for this person? Why are they so stuck? We have the King of Swords in reverse. It can be that this person has to go through divorce, but they have not completely released that person. And the person they're dealing with is a big mess. King of Swords reversed. Uh, it's not a good energy to be in. Can be their spouse. Can you see King and Queen of Swords? Though King of Swords in, is in reversed, but this connection is very messy with the Five of Swords energy. They were in a very bad uh, situation. Their past, whosoever this past person is, it's not good. Their connection is very messy. And I do feel that they try to hold on to it because of some reasons. Maybe they have kids together or uh, this person is still attaching his or her happiness with the past person. But it's not good. Their connection is actually not right. It can be a Leo they were dealing with. All right, so what is this page of pentacles? What's wrong here? We have the king of rods, the page of pentacles and the ace of swords. They don't want to leave you. Nine of cups, you make them feel happy. They don't want to leave you. But then they don't, they are messed up in their past relationship as well. You both share a very strong karmic connection, right? It can be soulmates for some of you, but soulmates don't usually bring this kind of karma, right? So it can be twin, can be karmic, can be, I don't know what, but uh, you both are going to share a lot of karma together. Right? I do feel this person has some sneaky characteristics. They are quiet because they're hiding something. Right? Don't really pick up bad energy for them. No, they're not bad. But it's a bit... Um, secretive is the right word, I guess. Yes. So, their passion is immense. The way they look at you, the way they want to talk to you, they want to give this clarity to you that you make me feel happy. But they're stuck. 
you are just on your uh, on your chariot and telling that I'm ready for this connection I'm ready for the situation in my life but I think this person needs time let me quickly clarify the Sun card what's the outcome here I definitely feel it is going to make you feel happy so whatever outcome you're expecting whatever stand you're taking in your life whatever decision you're making in your life whatever step you're taking in your life right i think definitely it is going to be coming out in your favor because ultimately i see you happy so that is going to make you feel happy what is the sun we have the ten of rods the five of rods and the three of cups now there is reconciliation possible right we have the hanged man here definitely this situation involves some kind of coming back together and reconciliation situation but they need to clear up a lot of things before you both come into union so i would suggest that you stand by what you are saying right you stand by whatever decision you have made because there will be some kind of reconciliation some kind of coming back together sitting and talking about the situation that is going to ultimately make you feel happy but a lot of conflict a lot of opinion conflict i do feel in the beginning there will be a lot of conflict of opinion and not just you and this person but other parties attached to the situation a lot of conflict here right what advice we have for scorpio advices for scorpio please what advice do we have for scorpio be assertive exactly can you see this magician emperor chariot and be assertive so you will be the one who's going to take the charge of the situation a year from now a year from now is a very long term to say anything what else we have perfect timing and forgiveness all right if you believe again the situation has big potential if you believe and uh, Timing is right, things are unfolding in front of you and they're going to be completely unfolded towards the end of this month and the beginning of the next month. I think you will have to keep a very humble heart, a very uh, forgiving heart because there's a lot mess here, right? A lot mess and you might uh, get involved into it a bit or some kind of conflict, some kind of argument because of this person with somebody else just just watch out for that right and have a very forgiving heart understand that they're actually going through a through a tough time and they need some space other than that i see some good things unfolding for you three of cups sun and the perfect timing whatever is right for you is actually unfolding in front of you so overall it's a very positive time period thank you so much for watching bye bye